Hello, Jamalf here and welcome back to Dark Souls 3 where my blind let's play continues still here in the undead settlement. But I am actually going to another area because the cursed tree seemed a little bit too hard for me at the moment. So let's go to this uh, road of sacrifices which is probably something between uh, a place between two areas. But uh, let's go here and uh, see what I can find. I left I left 5,000 souls behind at the cursed tree, but uh, that boss just seemed a little bit too hard for me at the moment. Okay, so what kind of guys are these? Some sort of a dagger-like weapon. Okay, four, four shot with my Grant Halbert. Interesting, it's just a ledge, nothing here. Usually you find uh, find stuff if you find a place like this. Okay, there are guys there below. No, that's the one I killed. Shriving stone. Shriving stone. What is a shriving stone? Wait, am I... Ah, undo weapon infusion, alright, okay. A new kind of item. Root of sacrifices. There is actually something down there below, but it's definitely not a way for me to fall from here. And it doesn't mean that that's actually a walkable area. Okay, there's two of those guys there. Wait, that... Guy is okay. Some sort of harpies. Oh, why? <laughs> that I, I I don't even know. That was a stupid troll. But uh, at least I'm right next to these guys. Okay, so do all of them transform like that? Okay, so I was just lucky to kill them, uh, kill that guy so fast. So you are uh, you're better off the faster you uh, you manage to kill them. There was one there who seems to be different. So yes, maybe, maybe even casting poison or something. one there. Some sort of a... I don't know what the thing is. I don't think I'm ready yet to just run through. It's always an option as well in, uh, in Souls. Just run through the area. I don't think I'm ready for that yet. Let's try to kill one of these fast. How did that miss? What the 
halberd is not that great of a weapon against these guys, it seems. Unless you stagger them like that. Okay, one at a time, not so bad. Two of them. Okay, this shaman. Shaman like... Okay, hello. Will more keep on coming from there? Enough! Really? Really? Will more keep on coming from that nest or something? You know what, screw this. Bye. Okay. Wait, I have to go the other way. <laughs> Guy was the key. Maybe that guy was the key. Maybe he was somehow summoning them. So many messages. Uh, what? Oh, hey, this is another one of those masters. Fred? <laughs> nice. Okay, now let's it. Uh Let's see these messages. Princess. Be very of ambush. Be very of woman. I think the princess is the best one. So let's give a rating to that. Let me let me take a look at the description on the butcher knife. Back in the undead settlement, the woman acquired a taste for human flesh, of which she took clean partaking. Okay, no, uh, no any kind of other special message there. Brigand gear. Ah, and this is down, down there where I, what I saw from, uh... Brigand twin daggers. Interesting. Yeah, I have a feeling that's, uh... That's death. Yep. Okay, so I got uh, got through the shaman. Not going to check the message. would get me back. I think the shaman was maybe summoning them. Nice, that's that's one shard I needed. I could get a plus three halberd now. Most certainly will uh, we'll think about it. There's another shaman there. Yeah, he's definitely summoning them.
you still can fall, even with the wings. Damn. The other one, the other one blocked me. Let's see if the if the shaman is like the shaman is like the those ones in the catacombs in, in the first Dark Souls that they don't come back. Somehow I doubt it because they are not uh, like kind of. Uh, they are not raising the yeah there he is still. I think I can just go through here. Next they will come to this side still. Well, let's see. Should I actually use a... Um, hmm. to uh, take out the uh, take out the shaman how long range does this have only 15 damage ah that's not worth it that's not worth it Summoning more of them somewhere. Maybe you will raise them. Just one bit behind me. Fast attacks that uh, the usual rolling is not doing. Uh, oh man, that's a tough spot. The road of sacrifices, indeed. Well named. Actually, running through the Road of Sacrifice was a good idea. These guys are probably friendly, at least for starters. Blue Sentinels. No, that guy isn't talking much. Wait, you look familiar. Oh, hello. How do you do? Oh, oh, did not. I am Anri of Astora, unkindled like you. This is Horace, a friend and travelling companion. Are you too in search of the Lords of Cinder? 
We are well along the road of sacrifices. Below us is the crucifixion woods. Beyond the flooded woods lies Farron Keep, home of the undead legion. Further yet is the Cathedral of the Deep. We seek the cathedral, home of the grim Aldrich. We may go our separate ways now, but we are both seekers of lords. The next time we cross paths, one may find the other in a time of need. May the flames guide your way. Hmm. Oh yes, Horace. He's not very talkative. Hmm. But don't think ill of him. He's an upstanding, kind-hearted knight, a fine partner for this grueling journey. Without his help, I would have cursed this onerous duty long ago. We are well along the road of Sac. Beyond the flooded woods lies Farron Keep. Hope we may go our step the next time. May the flames guide. Farron Keep. Crucifixion Woods. Cathedral of the Deep. Both the. Uh, both the Legion. And uh, Aldrich or Aldrich, Aldrich, were mentioned as the, in the opening cinematic. So uh, at least the Aldrich is one of the one of the lords. I kind of want to get the shiny there. Um, Man, I hate these guys. So nasty in their uh, in their winged form. Backstab by any chance? Someone will notice me. So much better like this. So the cursed tree is uh, definitely an optional boss. And Andre and uh, Hen Hendrich left. Maybe I will see them in the filing shrine. Crucifixion woods. That's a long spear. So it's not a spear, it's more like a just a piece of wood. Almost got me there. A little bit not just a little bit, quite a bit out of stamina actually. shiny huge dog if that's even as a dog that's more like a bear or wolf okay S mushrooms 
bones. A swamp. Okay. This guys probably breathe something. Okay, so it's just is that just poison? I'm guessing poison. I'm guessing poison. Okay, what else do we have here? Well, that guy was alive. And he has quite a lot of hit points. Rel relatively easy as long as I manage my stamina against it. Something not yet. Okay, so is there more of those guys? No. But there's one. One, two, three, and then let's let the stamina regenerate. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. You can play this game forever, man. <laughs> backstep. Hits, backstep, hits. Okay. There's a whole lot of things here in the swamp, obviously. Some um, mud crabs. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, to me, this place seems more interesting. Oh, there's another one of those... Uh, I did get the Titanite scale. In rare cases, crystal lizards devour souls, growing to monstrous proportion and leaving these great scales. So that's a overgrown lizard. Well, that's interesting. So there's one of those guys there. Doesn't open from this side. Hmm. Okay, can I go around? I can go above these guys. It looks like they are following me. Oh, cell sword armor and stuff. Actually, it look, looks pretty interesting. You can see the stats. Hmm, interesting. It's less weight, but more poise. Let me take a look. That's a bit heavier, but not much. But more poise again. Mm, the Herald gloves are actually quite, uh, quite good. Bands, deserter, deserter, cleric, cell sword, lighter, less boys. Oh, hello, Black Knight. Nice to see you here. Let's see how tough the Black Knights are. Yep. Good old familiar Black Knight with the great sword. Okay, you are tough. And you too shot me with your great sword. You're asking me to bury you, but I don't have the skills. Failed. Failed my rolls there. Failed my rolls. Hmm. Hmm. It's 
one less guy here. Almost like at times they uh, they take different different types of. Uh... Wait, there was. Ah, uh, yeah, it's poison. Shit. I think I have. No, I don't have purple moss. Well, shit. I saw purple moss at, uh, at the merchant. Okay, poison is not too bad. Still something that I don't really uh, want to be poisoned. Should, uh, nah. Okay, they seem to be patrolling there, that's why the guy went there. Let's go and try to fight the Black Knights. Pretty cleverly hiding there. Oh man, that was dumb. Okay. So when hmm. every attack I did staggered him, and then suddenly one didn't, while he was doing the power slam. Or the slam. Hmm. What happens if I just run past? Because what I want is the knight. These guys follow me. They do. At least one. Knights will uh, will come to me. Should I try to bury it? It seems such a bad idea. That is exactly the same. Exactly the same as it was in the. The previous Souls. Well, Dark Souls 1, I don't 
think there were black knights in Dark Souls 2. Were they? Man, I'm... I have much stronger memories of, um, of Dark Souls 1. So I'm um, having actually a little bit hard time remembering some things from Dark Souls 2, even that I've played Dark Souls 2 later. And I have Dark Souls 1. Okay, so that guy will follow me. I don't even know why I came for these souls here. That was not the timing for that uh, that swing. Hmm. I came to this place because I was uh, I was hitting a little bit of a roadblock. No, I no, I'm not sure if that's really a if that's really a smart idea. Shield would be a good idea, but not sure if I have a. Can I get a backstab at you? Like, like the good old days. doing so well there as well, but then uh, those pillars got me. So much easier to just circle around it. And, uh, why does this one guy has to follow me? All I want to do is the night. Done. 
somehow able to drop without taking damage. There I go. Ending was uh, was smart. There, now the knights. This time I will do it. Almost had him the last time. It's not that hard. Just hits hard. Not that hard. Bad timing. <laughs> not that hard. It's hard. Yes, indeed. Okay, this is... Um, this uh, this kind of non-progress non is very frustrating. Really, really frustrating. Okay, so that's what you do. I've been wondering about that. Good job, all Estus flasks gone. Well done, really well played. I think I need a break. It's not good to, good to play souls when you are frustrated. You play so much better when you are. Uh... Yeah, what I said. Play so much better when you are not frustrated. Sometimes it's just good to take a break. I think uh, maybe one more shot at our friendly Mr. Black Knight. Easier if I was improvised or just had more hit points, so I could um, could have a little bit of a playing room there. Oh man, such a, such a frustrating session here. Oh, I got nowhere. All right, I will. Uh, I definitely need that break. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's do uh, let's take a break. Continue next time. I'll, I'll calm down, probably play, play a whole lot better, or at least I have calmed down. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care, bye bye.